Hello, sir. Yes. How are you? Yes. How are you doing? Good. Yourself? Good. Yourself? I I am doing quite well. I I just seen your ad here on on Craigslist looking for a ride to L.A. Is that uh, L.A.? Yeah, that's that's you, right? You you made an ad on Craigslist. Uh, for Saturday. For Saturday. Ah, are you still looking for a ride? On Saturday. Well, what do you mean? Um, you looked at it in Las Vegas, right? That's right. Yeah, I'm, I know. I'm going to Victorville. Victorville. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm calling you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually taking a. Uh, I'm on a baseball team. I and I we too are going to Victorville. Uh, you know, to play a game. And uh, so, I mean, if you needed a ride, if, if, if you are, uh, if, I, if I'm reading this correctly, you are a gay guy. Yeah, and I have a husband, but my husband's in Afghanistan. That's good. Uh, well, here's the deal. Uh, in exchange for this ride, it, it says uh, you could pitch in for gas. Uh, if you take the G off the letter gas, it's kind of what I'm going to need from you for this ride, you know. So the base, for the baseball team, that's all I'm saying. I mean, we have this thing where we don't like to play when we're all pent up, sexually frustrated and whatnot. So, I mean, you could pitch in for gas. I'm sure you could pitch in for, I mean, let's take the G off there. I think you you know where I'm getting at with this. Uh, you know, you just uh, lift. <clears throat> oh. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, and add another S. That, yes. That's what we're gonna need. Listen, if they, I'll put it this way: if uh, if they, if this team were a train, you, sir, are the railroad. Do you, do you catch my drift? Yeah, do you? Yeah, I understand. That's and that drift yeah. right up the crack of your ass pipe. That's all I'm saying. That's what it's gonna feel like. That yes, that's where I'm headed with this. What do you think about that? In exchange for this ride. They're all they're pent up, sexually frustrated. You are the railroad. They are the train. I think. Uh, well, how old are these people? Huh? How yeah. old are these people? How old are they? Yeah. They're uh, over the age of eighteen. They're between the ages of uh, eighteen and thirty-four. Oh. That's, it's a, uh, uh, how old are they? But they're it, they vary in age from eighteen to thirty-four. There's tw there's about twelve of us on the team. So I mean. Again, this is going to be quite the long train, wink, wink. You know what I mean? Okay. That's right. So, I mean, listen, we're going to be in a van. I, I mean, is this going to be a long trip? So, I mean, at intervals, different periods of time, we will pull over. You know, the train will commence, then we will continue on. Pulling over at different, you know, varying times throughout the trip. How's that sound? I don't mind. You don't mind, so you you don't mind that at all. You you can uh, can you handle that? That physically, you think you could handle that whole situation? I need to see pictures first. You need pictures? I want to see who I'm doing. Seriously. Uh, well, okay. Well, that's. I mean, w w are we talking about regular pictures? Or are we talking about uh, you know something that could get like a congressman fired from his job kind of pictures? W what are we? No. Dude, seriously, I have to be really discreet. I have, you know, I have a husband who's in Afghanistan. Well, we're not legally married, but he's in Afghanistan. He's in Afghanistan. At war. I, 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 inter well, what if, what if, uh, you know, what what if I dress these guys up in like weird turbans? What if we all wore turbans, and maybe we took pictures of it, sent it to your husband? We could just, or or we just keep the pictures. Like if he finds out, we go, hey, look, the enemy. Your husband was taken captive by the enemy, and uh, that, and that will even give him more motivation to kill cowheads in Afghanistan, right? If he saw that you were brutally, anally raped by Afghans, he witnesses these pictures, right? And he goes, I'm going to kill me some effing cowheads. And he goes out there, American hero, and he wins a gold medal, so, something for the act of war, something. Maybe he kills bin Laden's number three guy in a cave somewhere because he's so amped up and motivated. I mean, this will benefit your husband, I think. Sure, sure, whatever. So how are we doing this? What's up? Talk to me. Well, uh, the Saturday, right? Well, we'll, we'll uh, I'll call you back, uh, you know, once I talk to them, make sure, uh, you know, I can get these pictures that you want. And uh, then... No, it's okay. I'm done, dude. 
You're, you're down to do it? Okay, well, then we'll pick you up. I'll call you back once I, because uh, i got to figure out who's the driver. And then uh, make sure everybody's still down for it. Give you a call back. Figure out where we're going to pick you up at so I can get the address and whatnot. Uh, figure out the stops. We've got to figure out. we got to Google where all the rest stops are. You know, we're going to stop. Oh. The, our plan is to stop at every rest stop and uh, really just pound you like a jackhammer with the fury of our wings, pretty much. Ball slapping against you, you know, like the pendulum on a clock. Just, eh, you know. That's We do this every time. I mean, this is not not like this is a, a new situation. Oh, it's great. Well, let me know. Call me on Saturday as soon as possible, okay? I will do that. Okay, thanks. All right, bye.